Okay, welcome to the Critical Focus channel, Table of Skin here, and this video on me listing my top three reasons for playing Middle Earth strategy battle game. And that could be <laughs> an alternate title to that could be why I prefer this over Age of Sigmar or 40k, but I don't want to specifically bash on those systems. I want to kind of instead race this system and why it's so good. Okay, so my number one reason, it's so damn thematic to be able to replay scenes from the books or the movies. It's a great feeling to be able to be there on Amon Hen or where they top the fields of Pelennor or what have you, Helm's Deep. It's an epic thing to re, uh, relive those moments that you've kind of spent a lot of your childhood years watching and reading about. My number two reason, it is a very streamlined system. It's very intuitive, it's very easy to understand. Uh, the rules are quite clear and also quite thematic, right? And, and all of the missions are, if not similar, very much overlapped. It's so, you can always count on there being a good reason for you to wound or kill the enemy leader. You can always count on there being a good reason to not have a broken army. And you can always count on there being good reason f to break the opposing army and uh, so on and so forth, right? And keeping your leader alive is probably also a good idea. So even if, if the objectives kind of differ, there is a lot, lot of overlap. So it's, it's ease of learning. And number three, I think the balance is just great. This game has been out for what odd, uh, like 20 years or something, right? And it's quite balanced. You can pick up any army and you could potentially win against uh, every other, other army basically I'm sure there is an elite tier and an A tier and B tier and so on and so forth but the gap isn't as large as in other game systems I would argue sure a well put together Angmar list is probably very strong and there are certainly special characters are, that are very strong for example Aragorn with his free might every turn right and, and stuff like that but Generally speaking, you can pick up whatever army you like and prefer and be competitive with it. As long as you have a solid strategy and a well put together list, you could win against each other army basically. And I'll add in a cheeky little fourth point here as well, the models. Uh, the smaller scale, they just appeal to me and the kind of low detailing on them is actually preferred to me. I mean, I, I, I like and appreciate the very, very fine details of, of Age of Sigma models and, and Anabolt's models, but I can really feel at ease knowing that three or four layers of paint on a single model and a kind of more grim, dark style of painting can work wonders with these uh, kind of low fantasy setting models. And, and, and it's just just a pain-free way of doing the, the painting. And it, it's really uh, relaxing coming from super detailed Warm Underworlds models. The advantage there is that there are not so many models in each warband. So there's not the stress of painting up an entire army, of course. But I think for, for the Lord of the Rings statue battle game, uh, the kind of small scale and low amount of details on each model is something I really appreciate. Uh, Animal Grimdark style, a slap shop works very well for these models, I think, uh, for the setting as well. So that's my top three and a cheeky fourth reason for playing Lord of the Rings stretch your battle game. So if you have enjoyed this little video, please give it a like, hit the bell button if you haven't already, and subscribe certainly if you haven't already, and I'll see you again the next time. Take care. Bye.